is made. Duvane, D U C O N N E. Madame Duvane of the Villa Capri. Good for young ladies. I wish to know if you have ready costume for Miss Polly Brand. Brand. B four O W N E. With an E. She wishes it for the kind of a box to fly. <laughs>
I did. You must see the ones. Okay. Remember, I'm the best person. Well, perhaps. I'm not promising anything. You don't have to. I'm telling you. Goodbye. <laughs> How do you do, Mr. Bonnet? I am Madame Du Bonnet. How do you do, Madame? I hope you'll forgive this visit at such short notice, but I doubt that while I was in the south of France, I should visit my daughter's school. That's quite so, Monsieur. I am so pleased to meet you. We are all so fond of Polly. As they are Sweet girl. He's at her. Her mother. I don't see more of her, but I'm so taken up with business, you know? Yes, I understand, Miss Hubbard. I am sure you would not put it before your daughter's happiness. Polly's happiness? But she's perfectly happy, isn't she? Never complains in her letters. Oh, no. I am sure she was not. But there are some things, Monsieur, which a young girl cannot discuss by post. Oh, such as what? Uh -huh. Might take it for down to me. You're afraid to loaf. I sincerely hope that nothing of the sort is allowed to carry in school. Oh no, I do not encourage it on the premises, but well, the Jean-Spi, the Jean-Spi, n'est-ce pas? I don't follow you, madame. Oh, surely you have not forgotten all your French, Monsieur Vaughan. Or should I call you Monte de What? You can't be. You can't be. No, we shall be. Do you know the letter, your little Kiki? This is impossible. Most worker. Oh, this is going to be an old find. After all, we have been to each other. Have you forgotten our sweet nights in that scene? Yes, madame, I have. Completely forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> but surely, so much surely. I wore a red dress, and you were in uniform. I called you my tiny tummy. I think I was your name. Late on, we danced in the oxygen bed of water, which is all our edge of ours. Let me see.
recently? Yes. Well, I have a pretty cheer for Miss Holly Brown. Green? That's funny. Funny? Why? Because I'm Holly Brown. Well, it's a very pretty name. Oh, thank you. And you live up for it. Oh. I'm sorry, I'll see you again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, it is. <coughs> yes, I'm sure that you, I mean, it is a pretty dress after all. Oh, I don't expect so, Ree. I do, in fact, I know it, right? Yes? Well, have a better Oh, oh, yes. Oh, no! Oh, oh, yes, perhaps we can. <laughs> I say, yes. you're, you're English, aren't you? Yes, as a matter of fact, I am. You don't seem like a nice voice, okay? Well, tell us the truth, I know you can do the sort of thing just at the moment that I'll have my beam ends. Oh, what a shame! And a carnival time too? Yes, it is a pity, isn't it? I was not going to be able to go to the Have you watched? Will you? Of course. Why don't you come too? Me? Yes, why not? I've got an extra ticket. Oh, you must think I'm terribly bored. No, I don't. I think you're terribly... Yes? <laughs>
I've seen. So different from Wagner, isn't it? Oh yes, indeed. Much prettier. I'm not so sure to but I'm beginning to think we should have gone there in the first place. Not Lucilla. Nothing like a change from routine for old people like us. I feel 20 years younger. I'm just behaving accordingly, I noticed. <laughs> really? It would come down you after our law. Now, now, Wilda, don't think on so. After all, Tony isn't dead, is he? He might as well be. Sometimes, when I think of the disgrace, I would rather he were. Oh, Kono, after all, the boy's done nothing wrong. <coughs> nothing wrong? Dissipating from Oxford in the middle of the Henry Town, running a brilliant career. Why, they won't even consider him all the constituency now. <laughs> well, never mind, dear. Perhaps he's spending another career. But he hasn't any money, Hubert. Not a penny to his name. Oh dear, it gives me palpitations every time I think of it. I should have to go and sit in the shelter. Very well, then. Here, but... Well, that's for a dick. Hi, Anne. Are you coming too, Randy? Rightio. Hey, wait, you funny. Oh no, I think I'll just have a stroll. Are you meeting him? Yes.
That's not funny. I don't think what she should tell what you do in the afternoon off. One does not take the afternoon off from being a young lady, monsieur. Oh, Monsieur! What is the matter, Hortense? Do you know who he is? He is just a messenger boy from that stuff. Oh, yes, I know. But he's awfully nice. <laughs> but if Madame de Bonnet knew that one of her young ladies... Please, Hortense! Let me talk to you for a minute. Shall I go? Oh, no, Tony, I won't be a minute. Dear Hortense, don't betray me. I know he is just a messenger boy, but he does it because he's poor. But I'm sure that in reality he is as well born as I am. That's so, but he has no right to make any advances on a perfect young lady like herself in his present condition. <laughs> Please, I'm just a secretary. You told him that? Yes, I did. Alas, care such a race field. Please, Hortons, don't let on to anyone. I'm so happy to have an admirer who isn't just interested in me for my wealth. Surely you must know how I feel. Well, perhaps I do, but if not, do a nation find out. Oh, but she won't. That is unless you tell her. All right, Miss Teach, you have my promise. After all, it is carnival time. Oh, thank you, Hortons. I shan't forget. <laughs> Oh, here come all the other young ladies. Oh, oh dear. Let's go, Tony. I don't want to meet them just yet. They do chat or so. I say, wasn't that Polly? I'm sure it was. I recognize her frock. Look, there's her tongue. Her tongue. Do you tell us. Was that Mademoiselle Brown with her bow? I have no idea. Oh, yes, you have. Go on, her tongue. Do you tell? Yes, do you tell? Tell us if he terribly slick and handsome. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, isn't she mean? <coughs> if you just tell us what he's like, because I'll give you some handkerchiefs on him. And talk of those crushed flowers. Tis a room, mademoiselle. It is not seeming to be so curious about you. Oh, why not? <coughs> Haven't you ever been curious for a dog? Well, I. Maybe you are Tonsa. Maybe you have. So, or Tonsa's some little cream maker, can't she? Of course she isn't. After all, she is French. Yes, I am, and I'm very proud of you.
Jimmy. What if there was? I can go begging with whom I choose. Oh, I can Jimmy. <laughs> but I don't want to choose anyone in particular. Why not? Because I want to have a good time while I'm young. <laughs> After all, I am only 17. Well, I can show you a good time. It's not like I hadn't got Fanny cash. <laughs> Money isn't everything. When are you going to come and see my yacht again? You like that, didn't you? Yes. It was a very dinky yacht. Hello, Marcel. I've got a big song. Don't forget to promise to come and go with me. Of course not. Well, maybe. Pierre. Oh, I can hardly wait. Hey, Maisie. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> Miss, you listen to me. You listen to all of us.
Holly. Yes. Will you? Would you kiss me goodbye? Oh yes, if you want me to. Oh God. You forgot to tell me. What's the matter? I've got to have a party quickly. I tell you, you just want me. I'm not questioning me. Are you sure, dear? Well, why must you go? I can't explain now. I'll see you later. Then we must call the police. Take you there, gendarme, gendarme. Gendarme, gendarme, stop the crowd! Holly, please. <laughs>
And the fat lady behind the counter went to sleep and snored. And you said, you said you wanted the night to go home forever. <laughs> so, you are beginning to remember.
lay down, lay down. How is Polly? Broken hearted, Paul petite. She refuses to come to the ball, even though I did my best to persuade her. Does she, does she want to see me? <laughs> you no, know, but it is a pity she's not here enjoying herself in her pretty costume. Yes, what pretty was it? But she had no part of the Stanford, she might not as well come at all. I wonder if, but I don't suppose she wants to speak to you. <laughs> to and yet, if you could persuade her to come, I know I could prove that I really love her. Well, I do not think, do not know if that would be the best thing to do, but... Yes? I think perhaps in spite of all, she really loves you too. She wants me. So if you promise not to do <coughs> Oh, I do want to talk to you. Mercy for cool. Well, I'm going to change into my contract. I was going to take it back to Gaston. Thank goodness I ran into you. <coughs> do not have to be angry. She may not come at all. Oh, Mr. Gaston, I am
acquaintance, my dear. We are really passing the time of day. What? At this time of night? Really? You and your are disgraceful. Disgraceful? But I wasn't misbehaving. I'm not so sure. In any case, I can't be wise you wish to attend this wicked ball. But you know how distressed I am. <laughs> Our experience this afternoon has quite unnerved me. Now, now, Gilda, don't think I'm so. Come sit down and I'll ask the waiter to bring you a glass of port. I don't require anything to drink, thank you, Hubert. In fact, I intend to return to the hotel in a few minutes. I'm not sure I expect you to accompany me. Very well, dear. Waiter, waiter, bring this lady a glass of port.